All told, we made over 2.8 million 240s, a car that became the forerunner of many a different make and model all over the world. And here's one of the last 240s rolling off the production line at the Volvo Torschlander factory in Gothenburg. The embryo of the car began taking shape in the early 60s in the mind of Volvo's chief designer, Jan Wielskorn. He wanted to build a functional family car accented by timeless classical lines. We were ready that time when the leading came to take over the Ruska model and saw already after 45 minutes that we were driving. August 1966 saw the birth of the Volvo 140, a car that was not an immediate success. The whole time, however, Volvo's designers and engineers were busy at work making improvements on the model. It was at this time that Volvo made the decision to emphasize safety in their cars. In 1974, when the 240 was introduced, the American Automotive Safety Authorities declared it to be the safest car in its class. Volvo was selected to be the norm for American automotive safety legislation. I worked with safety when this car came to the beginning of the 70s. And that was naturally the dearest thing that you had on the way that kunde omsätta en hel del av det som andra bara gjorde experimentellt i de här experimentella säkerhetsbilarna i en bil som vi sedan kunde köra i produktion. The 240 was an enormous success for Volvo. The 245 estate car quickly became the market leader in its class, a position it has held ever since. Volvo set the standard for the American automotive industry and in reality for the entire world in exhaust emission control. In 1976, Volvo proved that it was possible to mass produce a car that featured truly efficient three-way catalytic emission control. The, the experience with the, uh, with the Volvos in 1977 uh, led California to be confident that uh, we could adopt tougher emission standards, which uh, took effect for the rest of the U.S. fleet. The Volvo public relations trip from San Francisco to Washington attracted a lot of attention. Volvo's norms created the basis for some of the first American environmental protection laws. This car had technology that the U.S. automakers said couldn't be built. And that this car was clear proof that the technology worked and that it was real. It wasn't something in a laboratory. It was something we were driving across the country. Uh, we were literally driving a message from California to Washington to tell Congress that uh, this pollution control technology was here today and that it worked. The 240 has received many awards the world over. The best automobile buy in America six years in a row. The family car of the year. The car that protects the environment. The safest in traffic. Yes, even the European Track Racing Championship. The list of awards goes on and on. Not only has the 240 series been a good business proposition for Volvo, its success has allowed Volvo to make new developments and improvements. I think it has uh, been an enormously important model for Volvo. It is uh, the one produced in by far the largest number of any model that we have ever manufactured. Uh, we have had it in production and on sales for almost 20 years. Uh, I think it means um, a robust car, a safe car, a durable car, and a reliable vehicle. So now the 240 is rolled into the Volvo Museum, where it will assume a place of honor among its predecessors. <laughs>